Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be a highly requested video. It is how I take my notes. For SPM students or PT3 students, you can apply this note taking. This is my notebook that I've been using. These notebooks are from Typo. It has four dividers so I can divide it into subjects. The pink notebook is form 4 and the black one is form 5. Next, I'm gonna show you my stationeries that I've been using. First of all, you need a correction tape and then pens. I'm using these pens from Pilot in the size of M, blue and black. Mechanical pencil for graph drawing. And to make everything interesting, you'll be needing highlighter. I'm using highlighter from Zebra Might Liner. If you guys find it expensive, you guys can also buy this highlighter from Daiso. It is not as soft as the Might Liner, but the color is similar. And A4 paper, any paper also can, um, colored paper, washi tapes, if you guys want to decorate. So yeah, that's basically the stationeries that I use. Now I'm gonna show you my notes. This is a notebook that I use when I'm in Form 4, so I basically just wrote everything that my teacher says or when I have free time in the class. I also used it for my planner, but when I get into Form 5, I got lazy and I didn't have time to do it, but here's an overview of my planner. And this is the notebook that I use when I'm in Form 5, so sama macam Form 4. I just fill this book with the notes that I think it's important. And for this part of the book, I got into the mood. I rajin awal awal tahun tu, so I just buat nota. But at the end of the year, I realized I'm not referring to it because at the end of the day, I'll use my reference book. And for this part is my sejarah sticky notes. I just tulis kata kata yang I tak faham bersamaan dengan maksud dia. So for this video, I just decided to combine all my note taking for all subjects in one video But for the subjects like BM and BI, I'm just gonna do it basic note taking And for subjects like science, sejarah, accounts, I'm gonna show you detailed note taking so for English, as you guys can see here, I just wrote some of the English essay ideas, some ideas that I could use to write my essays. So bila I nak start essay, I akan refer to this supaya I ada idea untuk start the essay. Cause like bila nak buat essay nak mulakan tu memang susah. Basically, mostly my English notes banyak on essays because for literature and whatnot, I just buat latihan. Untuk BM pula, I tulis notes yang cikgu bagi yang I rasa I lemah and also penanda wacana untuk mulakan karangan. I lupa nak cakap about maths. So kalau maths, I just buat latihan and untuk the nota, I just print the formulas out. Now grab your F4 paper, we are going to start our detailed notes. First, fold it into two. This method I use for science, agama, and tasaw. So grab your reference book. As you can see, I'm using this science book from Sas Badi, and it's a bit yo, so about I study. <laughs> so I use this sticky note post-it to stick it uh, at each chapter, so I can easily jump a chapter yang I'm cherry. So I'm just gonna write the first chapter of Form Five. So for the title, I'm gonna be using this zebra might liner, tapi yang belakang punya which is the marker part. And when I feel like it, I'm just gonna do like a cursive writing on top, so dia macam nampak interesting sikit. And then I'm gonna use black pen to write the title. So I'm writing types, which is the types of microorganisms. And then I'm gonna head up to the blue pen and write the points or the answers. And then I just go ahead and elaborate on each of the microorganisms. 
I also sometimes highlight the title and as you guys can see from here I don't use much of a color like the highlighter I just use pink and yellow Besides from highlighting, you can also underline the important thing. Next, I just draw a box so I can separate each of the information. And done! This type of note, you can bring it everywhere including the canteen while you're eating and with notes for your exam preparations. You can also write your subject at the side so you won't get mixed up or stick your sticky note at the top or at the side. And yeah. And here comes the subject that most of you guys requested too. Here I got my reference book that I usually use which is Ranger for Economy. And in Sejarah, I have a lot of references. For example, this one is the notes from Eva. I believe three notes which is sejarah, economy and accounts. Then do grab your FR paper and fold it into two. So here I'm writing my economy notes. I'm just starting off by writing the chapter. So for this method of note taking, I usually write question and answers. So bila I refer balik, I tahu apa jenis question yang dia akan tanya dan macam mana I nak jawab. You guys can either buat jawapan dalam bentuk yang lengkap ataupun buat point. Here, I'm drawing graph which is known as KKP. Untuk ekonomi, you guys can master graph drawing because graph drawing will appear on the paper, maybe um, question 1 or 2 or at the essay part. Seterusnya, sejarah. Untuk sejarah, sama juga. Cumanya, I buat lagi specific which is tak ikut bab tapi I ikut the main point. Macam sekarang ni, I buat mesi purple. So, I tulis peranan golongan atasan. And for this part, I use method bullet point. As I said just now, you guys can use bullet point ataupun buat ayat yang lengkap. And then, I just go ahead and highlight things which is important. And siap dah nota boleh bawa pergi mana-mana. And last but not least, account. So this is the note from Eva. If I'm being honest with you guys, I don't really write my own notes. It's either I print them out or I use my reference book. So for example, this one, I just use it for reference and I just added my own notes dekat tepi-tepi. I suggest you guys to at least have one reference book for accounts. For example, I guna Buku Ranger. So for the printed references, I'll have this stable formula Macha account penyata, account PKK and whatnot. So for accounts, I don't do notes but I just put lots of latihan, countless of latihan And then just refer to the jawapan and learn from your mistakes Be your own teacher Lepas tu kalau dah buat satu soalan tu and ada yang salah Buat balik soalan yang sama Untuk uji diri sendiri sama ada kita belajar daripada kesilapan kita ataupun tidak and that's the end of the video. Hope these tips helps you guys for examinations. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Help your girl out here. Bye bye.